Okay, it's December 4th, one month after the builder estimated that the exterior structure would be done, which it isn't. I've decided that I'm going to have to, to continue to do this job by myself for various reasons, one of which is that essentially I can't afford to keep paying the builder. Uh, and for other reasons that I won't go into here. But I am somewhat confident that I can get most of the job done myself. Getting that 12 foot 2x6 up the ladder. It's also going to take a very long time for me to get this done by myself. This whole quarantine tyranny, social isolation thing is strange in a way, in many ways. One of the ways in which it's strange is that in some ways it's really not so bad for people like myself because. I'm actually extremely resourceful and can do a pretty incredible broad variety of things by myself. So if I don't have any friends to do it with, or even can't pay somebody to do it for various reasons, then I can still do it myself. And that means just about everything. Obviously I'm dependent on other people for food. So that's one way in which I am very much not self-reliant. So if the ruling powers decide to uh, destroy that arrangement, then I'll be in much worse shape. But then I've gone without food for 28 days at a time before. So even in that respect, I'll be better off than most people. <sighs>
I don't like working this close to the edge even though it's not really that bad. So one of the things I want to do is frame in here to make it a little bit safer. Which is one of the reasons why I ran this uh, board that started out as a 2x8 and then which I notched down to a 2x6. Notch out a special gadget that I've thought of for enabling me to lift the rafters up to its receiving beam. 16 inches there, which is good, but this is going to have to be done differently. Okay, well, I'm going to have to figure out how to uh, get something to work that uh, isn't my mistake. And it's not going to be easy either. This would be 11 and a half, but center would be 10 and 3 quarters. Doesn't look as good as I would like it to, but what the fuck? It's as good as it's going to get. I'm going to measure <coughs> from there. to here. And then I'm going to have to compare those measurements to the measurements that I have at the top of that wall and remake the jig, which means that the, the rafters will be uh, not exactly parallel to each other. So I probably won't be able to move forward as much as I would have liked to today. And it is, I believe, supposed to snow. I'd really like to get the rest of the roof on before it snows again. It's leading or hailing out there, although it's probably hard to see that in this shot. I just uh, did something stupid, which was step off the ladder one rung too high, something that I did once before, and the last time I did it, it was really painful. Although it could be worse, and today it was really painful because, of course, I landed on the wrong way, on my right leg, knee, twisting it and then falling onto my side. I didn't really hurt myself that bad, but I hurt myself enough so that I decided that I was going to call it quits, which I had previously said I would do after I got the first rafter in and then the second rafter in. But then I decided to just go for getting a third and maybe even a fourth rafter in. So now I'm running water, hot water, in my bathtub, and I'm going to soak my knee, and then probably put it on a warming pad and stay in bed all day, which sucks. It's a bit hard to move, and it's definitely hard to walk, and it would be extremely dangerous to try to go up a ladder on it. So I'm done for the moment, which is too bad because I was making some progress. It's been slightly less than three days since I stepped off the second rung of the extension ladder and landed wrong on my right leg, twisting my knee and disabling myself to a certain extent. Even though I'm 67, I feel like my body is healing 
much more quickly than I would expect a 67 year old body to heal. And when I cracked my ribs a decade ago, almost 11 years ago, it took 10 weeks for those ribs to heal and I was in pain pretty much the entire time. So the fact that I am managing to fare better this time with a sprained knee or whatever it is, is a good sign. putting wood underneath the one leg. better circumstances if I were working with another person and hadn't made my leg so that it doesn't bend properly which makes it too difficult to work on ladders I would take an 8 foot 2 by 6 and attach it to the rafter with another person so we'd both be on ladders we'd go up and we would put it there and hammer it in but even that wouldn't be the safest thing in the world because we'd be too close to the edge so what I'm going to do alternatively is build up the frame, leaving an inch and a half gap to put that board into and make enough of a substance to the frame so that I can then hopefully insert that board into its proper place and hammer it to the rafter or screw it to the rafter when my leg is good enough to be able to go up a ladder. That's the goal for today. I realize I'm doing things somewhat ass backwards, but whatever, I'm making do with what I can. calculate how much to uh, how much of an angle to put on these uh, two by sixes so that means that the first board is 91 and a quarter on one side and 91 and a half on the other side that means that I have to set my circular saw blade to that angle make the opening in the framing that I'm doing 31 and a half inches wide by 23 and 7 eighths inches tall.
always going to have to get out of the way. Good. It's been eight days since I injured my leg. Yes, it's still injured. Yes, my left leg is also showing the wear and tear. stop working because it's raining. It's another completely gray day outside today in the 40s. I'm about to do one of these things that I dread doing, which is <clears throat> to go out on the roof. I'm going to come up from below and to try to get some roof on here finally. for three hours today. It was drizzling for about the last half hour or so of it. It's even less impressive from below, but I would have finished it today if it hadn't started raining. I admit I am incredibly sick of this house extension business and it there is no end in sight so there's really not much hope of closure but I'm going to keep doing it. First, I'll make something to prop open the bathroom window to make it less hazardous for me to go out on the roof.
also level. It's 29 degrees outside right now, which means that it might be colder than that in the back of my house where I'm working because it usually is colder back there. And what would ordinarily be just puddles are now little patches of ice. It started snowing two days ago, and it accumulated about a foot of snow within a fairly short amount of time. A large branch fell off of the tree at the end of my yard. There's the door and the ladder. Obviously, both of them are under substantial amounts of snow. My plan for today is to build the structure that the winch will be mounted to so that I can finally start bringing stuff up to the second floor. Most importantly, the door. is unlock <sighs> yep, good enough. Will this work?
Uh, I finally gave up on doing this on my own and called my neighbor Jim, who's a very nice guy, and he came over and helped me, and it took two minutes. Alright, enough. At least I got all this vinyl siding up here. And I got up these two boards that are gonna... I'd like to get the door installed today, but the frame of it has to go outside the frame in the framed wall. Out here on the porch, it's obviously really wet, and I think that if I'm struggling with this door, and I step on this really wet balcony, I might just go over the side. So I sent a text message to my friend Kenny to ask him if he could help today, and I haven't gotten a reply to that yet, so I suspect the answer is probably no. Then it's going to get lifted up. No, 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 no. no. I, uh, the reason we're putting that bottom in the floor is so that it rests on the floor, so I have to make that clear. And then this, this comes up. Now this is loose. Now remember, you need to put your hand on the frame for as long as you can because the frame will, will is now loose from the door, essentially. So the frame can fall out. But just make sure you always have a good grip on it so that it doesn't fall, because if it falls, it might take me with it. All right, now, your hand is out of the way, right? Yep. Okay, open the door. Not all the way, but... Okay. Gee, what a surprise. Another gray, rainy day. But at least... The door is in. I just took the dreaded trip to Home Depot, trip number zillion. So that I could buy two more clamps. I found a few more. I also realized that today, December 22nd, is around, if not exactly, the shortest day of the year, which means that the sun will set in about an hour to an hour and 15 minutes, something like that. But I could get these two remaining pieces up, and then I think I could carry the foamy lard downstairs probably get the ladder up and nail that formula up before the sun goes down today, if I'm fast enough at it, which I may not be. What'd you say? The alternative to using sawdust mixed with paint is to use microplastics that are dyed. Okay. I, I know I had that sitting, sitting there, but can you move it over a little bit and that way I can work along here? And... 
Uh, no, I needed to go that way, away from the wall. Thank you. If anything, you may need to put a little bit more mortar in, but then mix it up better. What can I say to that? I mean, people have problems, and their problems are worse than mine. So I do have a certain amount of sympathy for my fellow humans. Okay. Oh, that's pretty good. Keep going. Oh, the warm water. I just stuck my hands in it. It felt great. <laughs> yeah, it's like the water you had before was ice cold. Looks good. I'm, I'm cleaning off my side right now though, so I still have to make my side clearer, but on the bottom, yeah, it looks great. I mean, but you know, you, you should be a, a, the better judge of that than I am. It's raining again today. <clears throat> I've been talking about Pittsburgh as a temperate rainforest for decades now. And I'm beginning to think of this raininess that's been going on for a couple of months now as Pittsburgh's temperate monsoon. I don't think I'm going to get anything done on this today or tomorrow. It appears like it may rain all day today, and it may snow all day tomorrow. I looked at the National Weather Service and got this tidbit. From 1880 to 2017, this is regarding Pittsburgh, which is where I am, 60 Christmases had zero snowfall, 43%. 32 Christmases had a trace of snowfall, 23%. 27 Christmases had between a trace and one inch, 20%. 19 Christmases had at least one inch of snow, 14%. Well, this is definitely at least one inch of snow. It's December 27th. It's about 20 degrees Fahrenheit outside today. It's not really a great time to be working out here. <coughs> uh, there's ice on the floor. And I've decided to add another window here placed in such a way that people looking out the window wouldn't be able to see into my neighbor's house, which is something that he's expressed concern about. Which is probably the best view from the back of my house. What I'm continuing to work on is the installation of this last window here, and then the 
closing off of the room. The closing off of the room is difficult for reasons that I've mentioned over and over again. Basically because the upper part of the of the room is about 25 feet above the ground and I only have 20 foot extension ladders which don't even come close to that 25 foot mark and therefore I need to get longer ladders I do have a new strategy for nailing in the board that is here. Okay, I'm still stabilizing it, so. Yeah. So, we go like this. to go we have to get it up on the on the ledge But it snowed once again during the night. It rained at first and now snowed. And the snow hasn't really impacted the thing that, that much. It's a far cry from being finished. But the windows and the door the wall are all done. Well, not done, but they're done enough for the moment.